Hiya, how are you doing? It's a privilege and an honour to be serving you at such a time as this. I just want to say congratulations, you've made it this far. I'm so happy and grateful to be delivering to you today a post in regards to blogging. Five tips on how to set up your blog. What is a blog? How can you benefit from a blog? Would you like to hear my story? Okay then. So a few years back I decided to set up a blog. This was after um, I tapped into the power of affiliate marketing and the blog was a place where I could literally speak about products and services that I believed in and that I believed would help other people that was passionate about getting certain results in the business. So I would use the blog as a platform to tell my story and also to um, share some information, some highlights on a product or service before a person chooses to commit to purchasing a product or service. And it's a wonderful platform to have. It's a great medium because number one, you can start for free setting up a blog. You've got a blog and you've got a website. Well, what's the difference? Not much difference really I mean nowadays you can get like plugins all sorts of things you know you can click and edit and you can make your blog look as sexy as any website out there so start for free get a blog set up for free you've got places like WordPress you've got places like Wix they'll give you limited um, resources and a limited space in order for you to tell your story to share your ideas or to um, add value into the marketplace online. If you're starting out, I strongly would advise you to use a free service first of all, just so that you can get the gist of how um, certain platforms, certain blogging platforms work. And once you get the idea of how to upload information, how to edit, you know, and how to paint the picture, tell your story, promote your products and services on a blog, as things progress, you can upgrade as and when needed rather than you running out there and investing a ton of money on things that you're not even sure about, right? So just start small and work your way up. So blogs, WordPress is a great place to start off if you're gonna set up a blog. I mean, they've been around for years. They're a daddy in the game. They're a, a, a mummy in the game. They're kings, they're queens in the game when it comes to blogging and that's whether it's a blog or website and posting as well. So WordPress are smashing it at the moment as we speak. You won't have problems with your uptime, which means that your website will be online um, as long as I'd say 99.999% of the time because you've got certain blog providers where they have certain issues here and there and their uptime's not that great and they tend to be um, kind of like doing a lot of maintenance which means that people could be clicking on your link to go to your website only to find out that your website's down due to some kind of like technical issue whereas WordPress they are quite advanced they have a strong team that can solve problems extremely fast and um, they, their customer service is amazing as well so I've been with WordPress for years in what I do and I don't have any problems whatsoever. You've got other places like Wix as well that provide services for you to set up a blog and also a blogger and there's, there's a list of them. So um, I would recommend using WordPress to start with and you can start for free, 100% free. You simply provide them with an email address, you set up a password, and that is it. Once you've done that, it will take you into the interface, and then you can play around with all of the settings. So that's one way of going around setting up your blog. But I tell you this, before you start blogging, do some research and look at what it is you want to really do. What are you passionate about? What's the message you want to get out there? It might not be for monetary reasons. You may have things on your chest that you want to share. You may have things that you just want to explore and talk about. You may want to engage with communities, etc. So it's entirely up to you how you want to use that space. You have the freedom to be who you want to be and do what you want to do. Early in saying that, there are restrictions because when it comes to repulsive, sexual and dis, you know, nasty things obviously you know you have to find other spaces to do them kind of things if that's what rocks your boat um, however um, if your outviews are ethical so to speak then WordPress is a wonderful place so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive in to five tips that will 
give you the upper hand when it comes to setting up your blog, okay? So, let's dive in, shall we? So, think about it. What is it you love doing? What are you passionate about? What do you love doing, whether rain or shine? What is it that you love doing? And when you're in that space, you do it and time just like goes by. And even if you're not sure what that thing is, you can literally start your blog right by saying, hi, this is who I am, and these are the things that I'll be doing on a daily basis. To find out more about me, contact me. So you can treat your blog to start off with as a journal and then see what comes from it. Because there is something about when you start to write and type things that's inside your heart, then words start reflecting back to you. And then you start to see things that you may not have seen before, things that may be going around in your mind until you've actually crystallized them onto paper so that you can see what thoughts are going around in your mind. And once you start to pour out what's in you and crystallize it, you'll have a, a concrete view of what's going on in your head. And then you can dissect that information and put it into certain places and be much more orderly in terms of what you want to achieve, right? So, that's a great place to start, right? And then we'll move on to number one, which is making sure you choose a blog name and also you host it. So choosing a blog name and hosting it is essential. Now, I did recommend WordPress because of my experience with WordPress, but your name needs to really reflect what you are about. Once you've done that, you then go to wordpress.org and you click on sign up and then you type in your email and also set up a password. Once you've done that, you receive an email to confirm that you've, um, that was you that signed up. You then go to the interface, it will give you a link to the interface and then you will basically work out how to literally write content, click on publish and I would recommend doing that like once every two days. Even if you're not too sure what it is that you want to start to um, talk about, just get into the habit of going to your blog and then creating a new post, typing out some stuff and then hitting publish. Right? Get into the habit of using the space because that will do you a wealth of good. What, why will it? Okay, the reason why it will do you a wealth of good is because you'll be into the habit of getting up and doing the very things that you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis that will help you to arrive to your goals more effectively without you having to procrastinate. That's why, that's what I've realized. Because there's times when you may not feel like doing something, but if it's programmed within you to get up and do it, then your feelings are put to one side. So that's the difference, creating good habits. If you, if you persistently do something for around 21 days, it will become a habit. So get into the momentum of doing the things that successful people do and keep on doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it until there's a science in all of these things, in all of these tips that are shared. There's things that I can't really explain in terms of having that win-win mindset where you just have to get up and do the things that you need to do first in order for you to see it. And once you do that, you'll truly have it. Right? Persistence, that burning desire, these things will make way for you when, it's, when there seems to be no way. Okay, so number three, when you go into WordPress, as an example if you're using WordPress, just look for a basic, refreshing, simple theme that you can work with. Certain times, too much can be so much of a distraction. When you've got lights here and lines there and boxes here and graphics there, what you want is for people to look at your message, look at your content, get it and act accordingly. So you don't have that much time to make a lasting impact or a lasting impression online. Remember that. So make sure things are clear so that people can get your message and act onto that and take action, right? Number four, there's two key plugins which are highly recommended when you start to set up your blog. You can reach out to me and I will share what them two plugins are. 
these plugins are hugely responsible for you tapping into your niche and checking your stats to see how your blog is performing so that you can have a laser focus in regards to the direction you need to go to to provide more information that's more suited for people that are specific about getting a return for selling services and products online so if that's something that you're interested in reach out to me and i will help you with that providing you have a wordpress website or a wordpress blog number five make sure that you write compelling content that your readers will love you know when the words are coming out of your heart and then you lay them down inside of your blog or inside of your book that information, that energy will transmute to the right people who will then take on them words, that energy once that's deposited in their heart that connection is a done deal so we're talking about authenticity here when you are expressing and painting a picture you may think to yourself you know the way that I sound the way that I speak what if people don't really take to it that's cool it's not for them not everything's for everybody but what is for you is for you so to be you in doing what you do is more than enough so remember that it's important so yeah there are five tips for you in regards to starting your <coughs> blog stroke website if you need help and support you can reach out to me maybe you've not started yet you could be thinking to yourself okay I've got a blog but I don't really know how to advance in this and to you know get really creative and build and create that momentum to be effective that's cool we're here together we can help each other up we've got tools we've got services here that can catapult you to get those results online do reach out do use the resources that are around you there's people inside this community that will be able to springboard you as well so it's just a case of speaking out reaching out hey Kev can you help me I'm here just a stone throw away not even that look we're connected we're here so I look forward to speaking to you and that's it that's it from me Kevin Clark believing in you and remember stay focused God bless bye now